Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in today's video, we are going to be unboxing a Goodwill jewelry jar. So this is a jar of jewelry that I got at Goodwill. It was $19.99. And yeah, we're gonna unjar this thing today. So, my number one rule when it comes to buying jars, I always like to throw this out there, is I've got to see something in the jar that I think I'm going to make my money back on, probably. <laughs> Hopefully. Definitely. All right, so there is something here. It looks like a leather bracelet. I tend to do okay with leather stuff. There were a few other pieces. There was something, it's got some alimony, looks like, right there. There was this hand i can't remember what it's called but i'm sure somebody will help me and there's something else that looks kind of like a le another leather like thin leather bracelet so i'm kind of excited to see what that is um the last jar that we did i ended up having that cameo in it and it was embedded sorry <laughs> um like in the middle where i couldn't see what was in there so my sh my dress keeps slipping sorry y'all so we're going to do that but before we do Go down there, hit the like button, just get it over with because you know it's going to be good. <laughs> and join, we've been talking about how we're kind of a tribe together. Everybody's in the chat. Hey, everybody. We are a tribe. Join the tribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. <laughs> anyway, before we do that, I'm, I'm feeling pretty happy. My guys, my guys are so sweet to me. So, you know, um, we've been having a little bit of just a little drama going on lately, but my son woke me up this morning. Instead of breakfast in bed, I got jewelry jar in bed from my son. So he brought me this box. It says one day at a time. And he said, I made you a jewelry jar, mommy. And so he made me a little jar. So I'm going to unbox the little jewelry jar that my son made for me. And I, yeah, so I'm going to say hey in the chat to you. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to say hey. I'm so glad to see you here. I think it's a leather watch strap. You have one similar. Oh, cool, cool. Hi, hi. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so this is the, the jar. And now my son, pardon me. I just, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, He's been, we've been sorting through jewelry because we're getting ready to move. Um, so I've been sorting things out for things to keep, for me to sell, things for me to put in my mystery boxes, and then things that I'm just like, I'm never going to get to it. I wouldn't, you know, maybe it's missing stones. I'm not really going to, eh. So we've been sorting things out like that. And he's been going through the stuff that I was planning on, like getting rid of, redonating, whatever. Um, and he's been selling it in our garage sales and things like that. So he took some things and he made me a jar. So let's see what he put in there. I, did, I haven't peeked. Well, I mean, I've opened it and looked, but I haven't seen, we haven't pulled it out piece by piece yet because I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so this is the first thing. <laughs> this is so cute. It's got a little, oh, I have it backwards. Hang on. Oh, this is really cute. Was this in my junk jewelry? <laughs> was this the stuff I was getting rid of? Look at this cute little butterfly. Oh, isn't that pretty? So there's that. That's really cute. Thank you, James. He says, you're welcome. And then there's a bracelet. Hang on. It's a little super, superman, superwoman bracelet. Oh, thank you, Cindy. I was, okay, I was self-conscious because I got a, Cindy was saying I look good. I got a new, like, I don't know what do you call it. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, it's really shiny. I just put it on today and I'm like a little self-conscious about how like mannequin-like it is. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Okay, so next up is this bra a necklace rather and it's got little bananas and fruit on it. It's a little plastic like Carmen Miranda-esque. Um, <laughs> <to describe things. laughs> Ooh, sparkles. <laughs> and he put this clip in there. This, he knows green is my favorite color. I'm thinking that's why he put it in there. It's a barrette. The highlighter, that's what it's called, thank you. I don't even know what it's called. I had a sample and I went to Sephora today and I was like, I want some more of this. And so they gave it to me, like here. And I went, I think I maybe uh, like had a little too much fun with it. Anyway. <laughs> okay, next 
is this sparkly pink bracelet. This is the jar again my son made for me if you guys are just coming in. Ooh, rings galore. Another a little ring in there. Some blue dangly earrings. Uh, oh, a little bookmark with a J. Uh oh. It's tangled. Okay. A bookmark with a J and a puppy paw on it. What else have we got in here? Oh, this is nice. A, a necklace with the Eiffel Tower. That's beautiful. Thank you guys in the chat. Here we've got another ring with a big green flower. And another ring. He really went to town with the green. He knows mommy likes green. Another ring. Wow, some of this is nice. This was in my get rid of pile. And then we've got a few little earrings that are, you know, mix, mix and match. We'll call them mix and match earrings. Never too much highlighter. <laughs> Come on, next time I'll look like plastic. I'll look like a mannequin face. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <coughs> Isn't that sweet? Okay, so that was from my son this morning. As I was waking up, he was there to hand me my jewelry jar in bed. Isn't that sweet? Hi, guys. Okay. I'm looking, I'm sorry, I'm reading in the chat. Okay, so now let's uh, take a, oh, gosh, my hand got slipping. There we go. All right, now let's bust into the jar. Okay, let me get my scissors going. Snip, snip. Oh, thank you, guys. Isn't he sweet? Oh, yeah, my other son. My, um, so yeah, so James, this one, they know I've been kind of struggling. We've had a struggle the last few days, but that's okay. It's a learning experience, you know, for them and for me. So they, my other son really likes the song, Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> and he's like, this is your, this is a good song for today. <laughs> you can have anything you want, but you better not take it from me. Basically, it was the gist of his, anyway. Okay, I'm cutting. I'm cutting. We'll get to that. All right. Okay. Here we go. Some things are stuck to the tape at the top. And I have gotten, oh, there we go. I have gotten, um, you know, I did a, a video with a jewelry jar where I had pre-recorded it. So the camera was facing down. And I'll try to do alternating, you know, and do that um, every now and then too. Because I know some people like it. And it was kind of fun to do. But this one is not. It's going to be a little harder for me uh, for a little bit because of the move and everything. So, okay. Yeah. My Michael really loves music a lot. So he's got his own playlist and everything. Um, all right. So first up we have one of these religious bracelets with all of the religious peoples on it. <laughs> all right. Now, oh, we had one of these in one of the last jars, didn't we? I probably got it from the same place. I bet the same person d uh, donated. I think it's a hair doodad. One of, like so. We had one of these in one of the last jars. All right, then we have a necklace that looks like so. Looks in pretty good shape. Um, oh, I should probably say whether I'm going to donate it or where I'm, what I'm going to. Uh, this will probably go into the pile for, for James to go through before I redonate. This one I'm going to hang on to and, and look up and see about selling because. It's a cool looking barrette. This will, I don't know, what would you do? I'm probably, not, I probably wouldn't sell this. Would you be happy getting this in a mystery box? If you were getting a mystery box? Or should I put it in the pile for James to go through? Because right now that's my, my three choices. I'm going to sell it. It's good, but I probably won't ever get around to selling it. So it's going to go into a mystery box or uh, I don't have time. It's going to go to my redonate pile. If I were doing lots, then I would say, okay, this will go into a lot. You say mystery box? Yeah. Let's see. I am, okay, the hand is called a Hamsa hand. Oh, thank you. And teaching him how to, yes, yes, thank you. And da, 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 da. Yeah, he's so sweet. I'm looking really quick. Mystery box, mystery box, James. Okay. All right. Then, oh, I know what some of these are. Okay. We've already made them ready back. <gasps> okay. So I'll show you. These are some bangles. Let me, I'm going to put these ones down because I'll get, I'll get to those in a second to show you. So these ones are, these ones are okay. If the, 
if the metal is not messed up on them or, or scuffed up, then maybe these would go in a mystery box. They're, they're pretty nice. I mean, they look okay. But there are some, have you guys heard? And I hadn't heard of them until I found one of these. I found one of these in a jar before. It's an Alex and Annie bracelet. And I sold it to a viewer. So it, it was somebody was like, oh, 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 I'll buy that from you. And they and I didn't even at the time I didn't know who the, what it was or who it was, but um I do now. And there's like a there's an Alex and Andy at our mall, which they sell, you know, jewelry. So this is an Alex and Andy NFL 2013. This is the Jets. <laughs> and then we've got some other charms on here. So I don't know exactly how much they go for used. Do you sell them? Yeah, I do. I do um, in my Etsy store, but it's closed right now. But look, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have made our money back with these Alex and Annie's. So this is Alex and Annie, and it's got a tree. And let's see, the Disney ones go for good money. Okay, crossing our fingers. Okay, I don't know what the tree one is. So, I mean, they look like they need a little cleaning up, but there's that. I just know that the one I had before sold very quickly to a viewer. This is one that's Leo. That probably will go for, you know, good. People like their astrological signs. Ooh, looks like a mermaid. We've got a mermaid on here. That's cool. Like so. No, I did. I pulled up one and I was like, there's a few more. Oh, this one will go. This is a fleur de lis. And we're right here. Louisiana's right next door. You know, our Cajun friends next door like the. <laughs> and then we've got one with a little um, dragonfly. So, cool. I'll have to look those up. But I know from the other, Tree of Life. Okay, cool, cool. I know from the one that I sold before to a viewer. I can't remember what I sold it for. I don't know, like $15 maybe? I think it was like $15 shipped. I, I'm guessing. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, so there's a bunch of them. Woohoo! All right, cool. And I will let you, oh, someone can add the birthstones to the Tree of Life one. Oh, okay, this is a fossil watch band. And you know what? I'm going to ask my husband because he has a black one like this. And he was like, I... He bought a, a leather kit because he was gonna he couldn't find the watch band that he had, but it was black. I'm gonna ask him if this will work for his fossil watch. But it's a nice leather fossil watch band. Very cool. If you ever see, oh wait, hang on, let me let me go back because I'm missing a few questions here. Um, if anybody wants to peek at Alex and Annie Solds. Let me, you know, pop a, pop a price in the in the chat so we can know because I, I could look it up and then I'll I'll be taking my time away from you. Uh, let's see, tree life, love the mermaid, family tree charm, someone can have birthstones. What's the mermaid Ariel? Do they have like a Disney line? Let me look a little closer. I can't tell. I mean, she's a little, she looks more like, um, she looks a little more risque. I don't know. She's got her hands up and her hair like so, you know. So let's see what we think. Is she the other? Isn't there a zodiac that has a mermaid? Isn't there a mermaid zodiac? Is she that one? <laughs> this is how much I know. Okay, so there's that. Okay. Um, they seem to go for a lot of money on eBay, especially Disney and sports. And the Disney went over forty dollars sports for twenty. Oh yay! Okay, and my jar was twenty bucks or nineteen ninety nine. Yay! Um, if you ever see anything with Annie or Mia, it's usually an eating disorder awareness. Oh, okay, thank you. I did not know that. And, oh, I will enjoy the hill country for sure. Um, great. Looks like the feed is lost. Uh oh. Are you guys are you guys seeing everything okay? It looks like the feed is lost. Let me know. Okay, next. We've got some more of these bracelets, which if they look okay, my thing is like, if I'm gonna put something in a mystery box, the metal needs to look okay. 
it needs to not be all rubbed and yucky, you know, looking. So um, I might get a bunch of these that would go into one of the mystery boxes, a bunch of cute bangles or something. Okay, can you guys turn off that? Okay, thanks. Okay, next is this. This will probably go in. It's a ring, but this will probably go in the the lot to either redonate or for James to go through because he's been going through it. The stuff. All right, and then these are cute. Okay, they're little little drummer boy earrings. Those are adorable. Um, under normal circumstances, I'd probably list those, but because the time is of the essence right now and we're packing up, these will go into my my pile for James or redonate. Um, okay, okay, cool. So next up we have this. It's on a necklace, on a card, Paula, New Zealand. And it's got probably what is a wave and then this abalone um, made of New Zealand power. So I'm going to keep it on this card. Let me see if it's silver, silver. Is it silver, silver or I don't know. Okay. So probably not silver, silver. Let me see. I've got a, got my magnet and it's yeah, okay. Um, but this will help me describe it at least, and I'll probably sell it because it's cute. I like it. Let's see. Um, the ring that's something you would uh, love. The drum the drummer boards are cute, aren't they? How much jewelry do you put in the mystery box? So it's tw it's nineteen ninety nine, tw basically twenty bucks for the mystery box, and I put between twenty and thirty items in it. So it's about a dollar a piece, a dollar an item in the box. This is cute. Okay. So here is this. Um, I don't know. I would kind of describe that as a medallion with all of these dangles. This is one of those that I would say I it is not my style, but I'm definitely positive that it is somebody's style. And it's got a good sound. It's not too like clinky weird. So there's that. What color would you call that? I mean, it's kind of brown, but it's kind of orange. What color is this? What is that? I mean, I guess it's or orange. I mean, that part's kind of like a, <laughs> it's almost like a tortoise shell brown, but orange and brown. I don't know, yeah. Tribal, orangey brown, earth tones. There we go, that's what I would say. Earth tones. In New Zealand, they have abalone farms. Oh, okay, rest amber. How is the shell of the, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, this is cute, ooh, okay, I, I like it already. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know it's a bracelet, but I thought this, when I saw this, I thought that this was like one of those stretchy ones, just from the look of it, but it's not. I'm looking here, and now you're up there. Okay, it's not. It is, okay, let me just take it slower, because I really like this one. It almost looks like coral with these little beads, you know, like this background looks almost like a coral look. <clears throat> um, I can tell it's gold tone just from around the hinges where it's all, you know, when, where it's all, you can see where it's been moved. And so the, uh, the, the gold tone is rubbed off. Hang on. I told you guys, my kids get to uh, play video games. Oh, I'm doing this, so they're setting the timer. Okay, all right, so but the, here's the clasp, and let's see if we can see it or if I'm gonna need to get my loop. I think I'm gonna have to get my loop. So it's got a name on there, and it is Trifari. Okay, so this is a Trifari. Looks like coral, yeah. Ooh, it's so pretty, right? I think it's super elegant. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I would sell this. Even though there is some wear around the hinges and stuff, or the, yeah, where the connections are, I still think it's pretty enough to sell. Oh, and then, like, I like it enough that if I would, I would price it high. <laughs> I don't know how high, but I would price it high because it's like, I'd rather get a good price for it than, you know, or if I don't, I'll just keep it. It's one of those. I don't see a crown on it. <clears throat> it just says Trifari. I do like it. Anyway, okay, we'll wear it for now. <laughs> so next up, oh, this is pretty. 
Ooh, okay. Slow down. Slow your roll. Okay, no, no, no. At first I thought, oh, is it really amber? But no, it's not. Okay, so it's got that amber look to it. And they even try to mimic those um, starburst, sunburst. You can see if you if you watch some of my amber stuff, you can see the little bursts in there. And you'll see them. Um, but no, look on the back. So no, no. But it's really pretty. Oh, and I just noticed the uh, embellishments and swirls and stuff right in there. This is really pretty. Okay. Let's hold it. Let me hold it back a bit so you can see the whole thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. That's really pretty. Okay. See you later, Cindy. Beautiful necklace. Okay. And it's got these sort of look like amber. Okay. And then we have a hang tag. We have a hang tag that says nothing. You get nothing. Why are you there? If not to tell me who made you, I don't know. Anyway, it's really pretty. So this will get sold because it's got this faux amber. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. All right, so that gets sold. Sorry, I gotta take this off. Okay, I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> it's it's like, I don't know, scratchy. Not scratchy, but just like irritating me. All right, next up we have, I hiked it. Pike Speak. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. Because it's a nice looking enamel pin that somebody that hiked Pike's Peak might want. And then we've got, this is really pretty too. Hang on. I'm gonna look at it. First I thought, oh, this will probably get put in a lot. But now I'm not so sure because it's really pretty. It's you know, it looks beaded like hand done. But the cross is really nice and there is a mark on the back. So I'm gonna take a closer peek at it. And so it's 925. There's this, you know, copyright and then there's a dollar sign on the back. So I don't know, I may try to sell this. It looks like probably somebody handmade this and then put the cross on it. Maybe. It's even got this little cross as an embellishment here. Does that have a mark too? We'll see. Hang on. <laughs> like so. And I had a James, the thing is with this cross, I'm gonna look closer because I had or have a James Avery cross that's bigger than this that looks just like that. So I'm looking, I'm gonna go in because I see a tiny mark. Let's go see. Let's go see. And it's um I mean, it says 925 on it. I don't, I mean, I see another mark on there, but I can't tell what it is because it's been rubbed a lot. Um, if it were James Avery, it would say Avery or James Avery or JA, and it would have a little candelabra. Um, but no, it doesn't say that. But because it's got both little crosses on there, I will most likely sell it. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see, are you guys losing the feed still? So far, uh, yeah, I paid $20 for it. All right, next up, these are cute, okay. So these earrings are really pretty. Lots of hearts, they're domed, and they are pierced. At first I thought they were um, just clip-on earrings, but they are pierced like so. Tell me if I'm wrong, I think this is called an Omega clip when it's pierced and it has this on the back. I think. I might be wrong. Okay, so there's that. They almost look like they were, they look like maybe they used to be clip-on. They look like they've been altered because you can see where this has been affixed to it. Still, too big. <laughs> we'll be wearing this. <laughs> they are big. Are you heading to James Avery tomorrow? Oh, that's a dangerous place to go. They always have such pretty stuff. All right, we've got some really, really bright red hoopy earrings. Hang on. Oh, do these clash with my hair? Could you imagine? Woo, they are festive. Anyway, <laughs> there's those. These will probably go in with the stuff to go out because the red is chipping off. So, yeah, I think you're right. It's a mega clip. 
let's see. I found a necklace mark with a crown B and laurels. Um, if it's a P with laurels around it, it's a, probably a premiere. So double check that B and see if it's a P. All right, we've got this necklace, which is most likely dyed howlites. That's my first thought because it's so bright red. I'm looking for any signs of white through. If you think it's not, let me know. But I don't know. I mean, the, the elastic is slightly stretched. Mm, I guess it's pretty good still. It sounds good. Anyway, <laughs> that sounds nice. All right, so that would be the place to look, wouldn't it? But I'm pretty sure it's like, just like a dyed howlite. Boop, like that. And then we have a watch. I'm sure James heard that. Yeah. <laughs> James is like, yep. He is really into watches lately. Okay, so there's a watch. It does not appear to have any maker's mark on it. It looks nice, though. No, no kind of maker's mark. So this will probably go to my pile for them to go through. Looks like Diet Howlite. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh, hey, I sold one of these before. So I have sold I have sold this exact one. And I think I shared it in my jewelry jar, my other jewelry jar, like my jewelry jar profits. Yeah. So hey, <laughs> as long as the uh, wearer is the same one and I can just sell similar. Ta-da! And oh we got another watch. This is a cute one. Hang on, there's something tangled onto it. Okay, so we've got another watch. It also doesn't have a name. It's quartz, it says, and Japan movement. So, I don't know. Like so. Like so. I'll probably give this one to him, too, because he, he's really um, into the watches right now, and he's enjoying learning from them and figuring them out. But you can see, okay, here... You can see where the silver tone has rubbed off on the edge. So, cool. It's something he can learn. Let's see, I have a pair just like that. Mine are bright orange. Oh, wait, I missed it. A pair like what? The earrings? Oh, the red earrings. Okay. All right, we've got another. Hmm, this one's different. Okay. So this bracelet has the religious symbols. But this one's on hematite. Normally, I see them on wood. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up because let me know. Do you guys find these on hematite ever like so? Because normally I see them and they're on the wood like the other one. So, I mean, maybe. It almost feels like it's man's because it's kind of big. There. I'm trying to shake my wrist and not my whole arm because you know, ladies, what happens when you shake your whole arm <laughs> or your wrist. Everything else up the line starts shaking too. And then, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, have you guys have you guys found any like this that are on hematite? So I don't know what to do with that. Okay, I'll put it there and we'll find out what you guys say. Um, there's a piece. I'm gonna put that there. It's pretty. I'm gonna see if I find the rest that goes with it. All right. Okay. Cool. This is cool. This is. A necklace, which is, look at that. It's really pretty. It is a big flower. This is the back for it. And it's on this, like, bolo-style necklace. Like that. So you can tight, shorten it, tighten it. I don't see, I'm looking for a maker's mark. I don't see any kind of maker's mark. Hmm. Oh, this comes off. Look, so you could like interchange them. I hope it comes off or I just broke it. Nah, nope, it comes off. Um, I sold one just like that that I thought got out of a 25, even though mine was wooden. Oh, how much did you sell it for? Isn't that, yes, Lariat, that's, what I, that's the word I'm looking for. So I'm wondering if there's more pieces that snap on in there. So I'll set that to the side. Ooh, another watch. Let's see, this watch, this is a Samsung. So I may have to do a little digging on this one. This might be one I look up. 
because it's, ah, uh, you can't see back there. It's a Samsung, and it's got electronical stuff. There's a hole for maybe taking pictures. Is this a phone watch? Is this one of those, like an Apple watch for the Samsung, do you think? I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't have an Apple watch or a Samsung watch. I can't see on the back. So, yeah. It's not snapping like it should. Does it snap? How does this thing work? Okay, I'll have to find out about this one. Does it work? Can I turn it on? I'm pushing the power button. Nothing's happening. Okay, I will find out. The god bracelet I have was a wooden one. Sold for 25 bucks, really? Hang on. We're digging back to our pile again. Like this? Like that? Let me know. Because then it's not going in my junk pile. All right, then we have one of these. I will give this to James just because it freaks me out. That's a phone watch. Okay. I'm going to look it up because it's a phone watch. That's cool. And then, yeah, this is going to go in my, for my son. I mean, it's got a maker's mark, KC. I, I don't think that's Kenneth Cole, do you? I would think that Kenneth Cole stuff would be a little, I don't know, better made. The chain is like so, you know, yeah. So, yeah, this will go, I mean, it just feels cheap. Yes, exactly like that, but wouldn't. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I'll take a second look at that. I guess. Okay, so let's untangle a little bit here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll look at, I'll, I'll look it up. Hey, you never, you never know. You might be surprised at stuff, Ex except for when things are tangled. All right, there we go. All right, so this is an interesting necklace. It is a gold tone bar on a leather strap. And I will put this with the stuff, hang on, does this thing come off? If it comes off, if this piece comes off, I may take it off and just sell the leather part because the leather looks to be in really good shape on this necklace. But this part has got, you can see the gold tone rubbing off right there. No, will it come off? No, it won't come off. Because <sighs> then I was like, oh, I'll just sell the, no, nope, maybe the other way. Nope. They've they've in they've like pushed it down to keep it on there. Fine, ruin it for everybody. Whatever. Okay, so that will go in my my junk pile, my to go pile. All right, what have we here? What have we what have we here? I'm coming. It's coming out. Hang on. Tangled. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, let's just say whoa. All right, slowly, slowly, let's bring this thing up. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I thought was a strap of a bracelet right there. Turns out wrong. <laughs> and then, ta-da! This, hang on, this is a head scratcher. Um, One more time. This is colorful, eclectic, and I, if it, if this part were in, if this part looked better, the shoestring part, I might actually try to sell this because it's so funky weird, but no, I'm not. <laughs> so this will go into the pile for my son. Yeah, but yeah, this part was a bit, you know how it looks kind of yucky and frayed and stuff. So, no. <laughs> but honestly, if that part was better, I would I would have sold it because you know somebody would just. I mean, there's a style for everybody out there. Hi. How are you? Oh, this over here. Is that your junk stuff? That's not my junk stuff, but you can look through it, and I'll let you know. I like that watch. Which one? 
Yeah, okay. That you can take those because that watch is mine. That one, okay. Wait, but those two watches, yes. Wait, I can take those two? Yes, you may. He's like, I'm on it, mom. <laughs> wait, where's the gemstone? Well, I'll, well, when I get done here, I'll go through this pile and, and tell you, okay, this is the stuff I'm hanging on to. This is the stuff you can either take or we'll put. Okay, cool. All right, so here we've got this necklace. And again, also, look at the cord. It's just pretty ratty. But so it'll go into my my junk pile, my junk pile, like so, like so, my junk pile. All right, next, ooh, what? Um, how about how about this? Can you guys? Because you guys wanted to go ride bikes. Sorry, y'all. Parenting. Um, take care of the thing you wanted to take care of in my bathroom first. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Yeah, go get the soap. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so this, it looks like a, you know, slice of a geode or something like that. It's plastic. It's plastic. All right, so, but still, it's pretty cool. So this is something that I will either keep to sell or put in my mystery pile, because otherwise it's pretty cool. I mean, it's... I don't know. It's unusual. I think it's one of those that's like uh, an asymmetrical type necklace. Like you'd wear it like so. Like, I, that's how I think you would wear it. I think. Otherwise, it'd be worn if like you want that at the bottom. I guess you can wear it however you want. Who am I to tell you? You can wear it however you want. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm letting him go through. This is cute. Okay, this is, it looks like a D. Like that. It looks like an, you know, initial D. It could not be, or it could be. And then it's got this tassel. Very cool. Yes, dear? I'm done. You're done with what? Okay. Go clean your room first. Could you help me? Okay, anyway, so there's this. Um, I'll take a closer look at the cord. If the cord looks okay, then I will sell it. Okay, I apologize, y'all, for having to interrupt to talk to the children. It's just life. It's life. Yes. All right, ooh, hey, oh, no way. First of all, no way, okay? <laughs> this... Well, it may not seem like anything to you. It is something to me. So here we've got this Southern Bell. And it says, Natchez, Mississippi. That's where I was born. I never find stuff from Natchez. That's hilarious. Not hilarious, but that's how about that. So this I might have to keep for myself because I never find things that are from Natchez. Natchez, Mississippi. I was, okay, I'm a Texas girl, right? But I was born in Natchez. It was an act. Not. It wasn't an accident, but it was. My my biological father was transferred to Natchez from his office that was here. My brother was born here, and then um, I was born in Natchez. And my grandmother wanted to bring a jar of dirt from her yard to put under the bed when my mom was giving birth to me because she wanted to at least be able to say that I was born on Texas soil. Is that funny? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so she wanted to say I was born on Texas soil. All right, so I'm pulling out some other things from the jar. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna keep that. I still consider myself, you know, I'm Texan because everybody in my family is Texan, you know. All right, so, oh, hey, who was just asking about Premier? Premier. If, we'll, if we can zoom in close enough, we'll see. Does your thing look like that? This is probably one of the most common things we get in the jewelry group. If you're in jewelry lovers and, se and sellers, um, we'll, a lot of times people will share this. If you, It's so tiny. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a, a cursive P, and there's a crown on top of it. And a laurel, I know you probably can't even see it. A laurel on either side. And it's it's the symbol for premier jewelry. It's kind of like 
The Avon and jewelry. So I probably tried to sell that. Is that a belt? That might be a belt. Do you think it's a belt? Or a long necklace? Might be a belt. That's a, maybe either one. I'll post it for either one. Belt slash weird story. <laughs> Texans are proud of themselves. <laughs> All right, so here's these earrings. They actually match the, the necklace, and they have the KC, so maybe they are Kenneth Cole. Um, <laughs> now you need a cooking channel called Mississippi Gal Measures. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so something else that was pulled out right when I pulled out the Natchez pin. Look, look. Ready? Heinz pickle. It's a Heinz pickle pin. I have a feeling that my little one's going to want this. I want, let me get his take on it. Hey, Michael. Michael. I don't know if you heard me. I don't want to holler. I'm not a hollerer. Hollerer. Gosh, somebody around here. Oh, well, I guess I know. <laughs> this one came, okay, in, in Pasadena, not California, but Pasadena, Texas, we have the Strawberry Festival. So this is from the Strawberry Festival, 1981 Strawberry Festival. And they had a pin with a calendar, Strawberry Festival Days. Just in case you, you didn't have a calendar at home where you could like mark it, they made it into a whole pin for, just for you. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay. Oh, look. This one says, don't mess with Texas, like so. I like it. Boy, this jar is like really meant for today. I should have had this pin on yesterday and the day before that. So whatever. I'll just say whatever. And then this one, it looks like it, this is probably, I'm guessing from SeaWorld, which used to, the, oh, what was his name? Shamu, right? It was in San Antonio. So, okay. Do you, I, I, I have some pickle pins. I ha, actually have this, I have a few of these pickle pins. But I feel bad, because like James is, he gets all the stuff from the jars that I don't want or like the stuff, and Michael has no interest in it at all. So he's just like, no, I don't care. It's like, but James is getting all this stuff, don't you want some? He's like, no, not really. Like, okay, fine. Ooh, okay. Um. Uh-oh, your stuff keeps cutting out. Oh, no. All right, so next up is this. I'm looking for the end of it. There it is. Really long, tiny BB necklace, like so. Ah, I mean, it's cool. I could see somebody wanting something like that or liking something like that. The YouTubes is broke. Oh, dear. Oh. YouTube's got to get it together. All right. Um, so next up we have Blueberry Muffin. Right? That's her name. Blueberry Muffin. Um, I'm almost positive this is a vintage one too. So I'm so excited because people are buying back their childhood. And I'll sell her for sure. I sold an Annie. That was actually my personal Annie pendant. There is a Mickey Mouse pin, and this one looks kind of old, older anyway, because the white has kind of turned yellowed. It has yellowed. Let me see if it says Disney on the back. Hang on. There's something written tiny, tiny. Blueberry muffin. Yeah. Yep, it's got Disney written on it. Not that fake stone, because I know there are people that... Let's see. Went to St. Vincent's today, and... Texas born and raised guy teased us about being from California. He was really nice. Oh. All right, there we go. Are you talking about the St. Vincent's in Kerrville? I know there's St. Vincent's all over, but there's one in Kerrville. Okay, so this is another necklace that was in there. This will, again, if the, I don't know. Uh, I feel so like lackluster about it. Maybe it'll go in with my son's stuff. I don't know. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, cute. Okay. Hang on. I'm trying to get some things. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. I like that. Look at this. That's cool. 
All right, so it's all these like seed beads, super colorful, but then instead of just having this necklace like so, just they've got them in, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like swag sort of, what is the name for that? Is it swag? Not swag, but oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh, oh yes. It's like I'm a hippie princess now. I'm a hippie princess. Okay. All right. <sighs> hippie princess. Okay. <laughs> I know it's a necklace, you guys, but come on. You got to have some fun. Uh, <laughs> there's, I think, a bonus hair that's poking me in the eye, so it's coming off. Okay. Very cool and fun. Oh, fortune teller. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're in Kerrville for the week. I'm looking into my crystal ball. Why does she have to have that accent? Fortune tellers don't have to be from Romania, do they? I'm, lo I'm looking into my crystal ball. I see lots of jewelry in your future. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Her name has to be Helga too, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up we have this teeny tiny embroidery G on a lapel pin, stick pin, but it is actually like mini embroidered on there. So cute. I see sales in your future. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, that's hooked on. Let's unhook that. Oh, my nose are just, okay, Egyptian queen. <laughs> Because you're a hippie Egyptian queen. All right, next up is this, which is a nice long gold tone. Is that gold tone or silver tone? It's kind of hard to tell in the light. I can't really tell. It kind of looks gold tone in certain, when I turn it certain ways, and silver tone in others. Maybe it's the light in here. No, I can't tell. Silver tone. Madam Margaret, the fortune teller. <laughs> this came out. I'll make this of lots of these, and this is walking through my. <laughs> Sparkles the fortune teller. Oh, yeah. There's that. So this one, um, yeah, it just depends on the finish on it. So <laughs> I come for the choice. We haven't had too many characters lately, have we? I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Next up, this is okay. That's the hand, and this is the the bracelet that it's on, which is actually really cute. It's got these nice little blues. Mm, it's probably painted in there, looks like. Uh, like that. That's the back. And then the closure is just this hook, so it would hook in, you know, like so. Well, it would fall off. But that's really cute. Okay, I'll, I'll sell that. Um, I have a tiny beaded necklace just like that. I sold for $20 three days ago. And just like the long black one of it. Oh, really? Okay, cool. And then this one I think will sell for good money. I really do. I think that's, come on now. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, darlings. Oh, my goodness. There's been no singing in a while. Where's the singing? Okay. Taking requests. <laughs> oh, is YouTube still acting up? All right, tell me what you want, and we'll sing some. We can have a sing-along. Jewelry, jar, sing-along time. <laughs> Taking requests if I know the song. Uh, use festival in the title. Um, I am pulling out these really cool beads that look like this. They're really sparkly. And I mean, they're in not awesome shape. You know, they're kind of meh on the back. Look marvelous, thank you. But I really like the the beads on them, so they're really cool. Uh, looks good, even not on your head. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> I know you're a true friend now. <laughs> okay, I'm pulling out more of those. Okay, there's some cute earrings. Hang on, set that over here. Okay, we've got some more. Oh, some more pins as well. Let me pull those up. We have a teeny apple, like so. We've got, oh, it's a cute little bulldog. Hang on, let me show you the little, little bulldog. That's adorable, which I will probably try to sell because there are bulldog people. 
You could string them and sell them all together. Yeah. Okay. And then this one appears to be maybe silver. I'll have to look closer on it because it's super tarnished, but it looks like, like maybe it's the Holy Family. Let me look a little closer because I can't tell. Mac truck logo. I, um, well, maybe it's an angel. It looks like a wing. I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's an angel. Maybe it's a penguin. Or, no, there's a face there. What do you think, James? Is it somebody, two people hugging? It looks like a person in a mountain. A person in a mountain? That's an unusual one. Looks like Mary and Joseph. Probably, probably. That's probably what it is. <laughs> that would make sense, I suppose. I'm trying to do my best right now. Okay, then next up we've got this cool looking cross. Did I already show you this? The Bulldog uh, UGA, oh, U University of Georgia. Oh, okay, tie tacker pin. It could, it could be either probably. Um, oh no, is it still cutting out on you guys? Darn it. Okay, we've got another necklace that looks like this. I'll try to wrap it up then, I'm sorry. You guys are probably losing it. And this has a mark on it, it's super tangled. And look, this is the necklace, <laughs> but I'll have to untangle it. Detangle it, untangle it. And this one, this one is also a Premier Designs. Oh, it's a PD, a PD with the laurel. Okay, Man in the Moon, maybe. All right, next up we've got a Y necklace. And it looks like so. That's pretty cute. If it's not missing any stones, I'll sell it. I love the green in it. Does not look like it's missing any stones. Cute. Okay. Going in now for the rest of the stuff at the bottom. Sometimes the good stuff's at the bottom. What have we got? Hang on. We've got an earring which might be gold. It looks like an ear, you know, one of the piercing earrings. So it may be gold. I'll have to look at it closer in just a second. Don't roll away. We've got a teeny little butterfly. Um, I'm sorting through because I've got bits and pieces, see? Bits and pieces and then there's some more down in there. Hang on. Move, you guys. Oh, beads. Hang on. We've got this earring. I didn't see a mate for it though. But it could be in another drawer. I'm looking to see if I have the mate for that other gold one. I don't know if you can hear me if I'm talking down like that. Nope. Okay. There. These earrings were also in there, <laughs> which I didn't get to show you. Those ones. They look like little angels, don't they? Maybe they are. Like wings, and that's the head, and the little halo, and that's the the dress. Raiments? Do they call them raiments? Raiments? Like so. Favorite color is green, right? You say you love it. I do. I love it. Green is, it always, yeah, green. It's green. All right, we have a D necklace. This is from Claire's. And I don't know. Claire's is closing up, huh? Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot to show you these earrings too. Okay, let's take a look at these. These are really cute. They are green and they have these swoopy filigree kind of scroll work along the side. Earrings, and those are nice. The backs are closed up like that. So the stones are probably just plastic or something. I don't know. Like that, like that. Okay, now. Gold earring, let's find out. I've got a magnet here. I'm trying to see if it's magnetic. Yep, it's magnetic. All right, so it's probably just, you know, maybe gold plated or something like that, so it won't irritate the ears. I don't see any kind of marking on it. Okay, so my favorite thing, I like the Alex and Andy. They look like they need a little cleanup. If you can clean those up, I don't know. If they're just scuffed up and messed up or if they're silver and I can polish them up. I'm rubbing it with my thumb to see. I don't know. 
So anyway, I'm gonna clean those up best I can and see about selling those. And then I really like the, <laughs> this rainbowy one, that was a lot of fun. Ta-da, looks good, okay. I know you said it doesn't look as good on my head, but that's okay, everybody. All right, we did not get to sing today, and nobody said, nobody threw out a song to start with, so that's fine. We just didn't get a song today. Damp cloth gently, and that's, <clears throat> I get that question a lot, like how do I clean my jewelry, and that's that's the main way. I don't normally clean a lot of, um, with a lot of harsh cleansers and things, yeah. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. There were a few other little doodads. I think I have a pin like this listed already with a little mouse. And then there's a little pink elephant on a safety pin, like so. What does that say on the back? I can't read it. Made in Japan. Okay, so, hi. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, all right, all right. Do we get a belly dance? I don't know any belly dance songs. Okay. Anyway, all right. So, hey, you guys, go down there and leave a thumbs up for me. And if you're watching later, let me know what your favorite piece was. Let me know. Just say hey. Just say hey in the chat and let me know or in the comments down below and let me know you were here because I like to get to know everybody that's watching the channel. And I know we've been talking about it and, and how we feel like, <laughs> you know, the, but it's like a tribe, right? Lydia, the tattoo lady. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. I always like to sing that one. So we could do, we could do, I'll do a couple. How about that? Just for funsies, just to close it out. <laughs> just, just to pander, just to pander for the thumbs up. Only mind how my kids are playing on their Chromebooks. Okay. Alrighty. Hello. All right. Ready? Is Lydia even here? Lydia, are you there? I think I saw you earlier. All right, Lydia, oh, Lydia, say, have you met Lydia? Lydia, the tattoo lady. She's got eyes that men adore so, and a torso, even more so. Cha-ching. <laughs> Lydia, oh, Lydia, that encyclopedia. Oh, Lydia, the queen of tattoo. On her back is the Battle of Waterloo. Beside it's the wreck of the Hespers, too. And proudly above waves the red, white, and blue. You can learn a lot from Lydia. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Evening. Oh, look how filthy. Okay. See you later, guys. <laughs> Bye.